Well, um, what you can see behind me is the view from row seven, seat one, two, two, uh, here in the away end at St. Andrews, where I'm sure one Norwich City fan got a very nice view of two pretty late equalizers, to be honest. Norwich City um, claiming a 2-2 draw in their opening day uh, fixture of the championship season here at Birmingham, a side who, of course, had a very difficult summer uh, and haven't been able to strengthen which probably ironically led to a side they didn't, they weren't sulking Birmingham, they looked quite solid and, and uh, didn't really give Norwich too many real clear chances. And what they probably looked was a, was quite well organised and, uh, and settled. And I guess what you get on this, what probably makes the opening day of the season so up and down is the fact that teams are gelling. And we saw actually signs with Norwich that, you know, maybe Ben Marshall, who was excellent, by the way, today, putting crosses in behind people, not maybe reading the best situations. Maybe Norwich not making the most of Jordan Rhodes, who still could have scored a couple of goals, had, uh, had uh, Birmingham's uh, third choice goalkeeper, rookie goalkeeper, who was on loan at the National League last year, uh, not made a couple of excellent, really, really excellent saves. So, um, in the way, we, we maybe thought it was going to be a, a plus for Norwich, but uh, Birmingham, Birmingham dug in and will probably feel to a degree they should have won this game because they led twice, the second being in basically the last minute of five added at the end of the game. Um, but Gary Monk did call it a fair result, and I think over the balance of play, I would agree, because Norwich, custom, customary, as we do expect, did have a lot of possession. I did think they were a little bit more direct in the first half at times, and they clearly want to get the ball up to Jordan and move uh, quicker through the lines. And mixed, they mixed it up a bit. I, doing the live coverage of Pink and a lot of people looking at the scoreline and thinking, well, we're, we're kind of seeing what we've seen all last year. They're still this, they're still that. And I don't think it's that straightforward, personally. I also think it's too early to judge. A lot of people said that I saw that uh, Daniel Farker put to a side to draw today or that it was a negative formation. No, I, I mean, I spent all pre-season saying I hope we don't go here with a 4-1-4-1 and Tom Tribal holding because then we haven't learnt the lessons of last year. To me, Alex Tetti, by the way, playing 90 minutes today uh, after basically no pre-season. What a colossal effort. But uh, playing him and Tom Tribal as a, as a two in a 4-2-3-1 is exactly what was proving successful last year. Away from home, opening day of the season, be solid. Yes, formation-wise and selection, I have, to be honest, no issue with that. The issues came in terms of the performance and what those guys were doing. And I think... The first half, Norwich still probably, they, they, they worked the best chance and the keeper pulled off a wonderful save. I do still think they're too ponderous in getting and actually making that chance when they get in good positions. And some of the possession they had, they weren't moving the ball quick enough and working it well enough. Um, so I definitely take those points on. Then they were kind of sloppy in the second half of the first 10, 15, 20 minutes when Birmingham did get themselves ahead. Uh, they probably deserved it. It had been coming. Norwich not really... I mean, Norwich did look a bit shaky at the back. Grant Hanley had a, had a very indifferent game. Tim Closer, definitely the pick of the two centre-backs. Uh, Norwich couldn't clear the lines from a, from a corner, albeit um, Magoma took the, took the shot that uh, crashed in off the underside of the bar brilliantly well. Um, and that got been coming because Norwich was sloppy and, and maybe Daniel Farker could have been more assertive before that to make a positive change in the game. I, I definitely buy that. What we did then see is Kenny, uh, Kenny McLean and Morris Leitner coming on and they both had a, had a positive impact actually and, and Morris helped create a couple of chances. What I really liked was seeing Kenny McLean drive forward with, with, forward with the ball, going, going between and through the lines and running beyond his strikers, something that Johnny Housen was very good at and no one's really done that since. So uh, that is a very pleasing thing and I think um, those two players are actually a really interesting dynamic between themselves and I'd, I'd certainly like to see more of Kenny he was a little bit unlucky not to start today maybe not so much Morris but what of course we've got now is two decent appearances from the bench that will definitely have Daniel thinking when we rock up at Carrow Road for West Brom next weekend special mention though for the second equaliser coming in the 94th minute from uh, Dennis Shrebeni who uh, broke from midfield uh, cut cut uh, Birmingham open an absolute treat and laid the ball beautifully for Nel Hernandez to, to smack home his finish. Uh, I can't remember who the right back was, but he was in a bit of a muddle and was on his backside by the time Nel was put through. But that is a proper um, match-saving contribution from uh, Dennis Shrebeni, and that bodes, that bodes well because he came on and he was, he was good. I like that. He looked hungry, and it was 
it was always a game that was competitive. It was always a game that was reasonably open, uh, and it was yeah, it was a good it was a good game. Obviously, what we need to wait and see now is was it a good game between two sides that are going to finish nineteenth and twentieth, or was it a good game between um, two sides who will have their own paths this year and can, can do um, the things they want to achieve or will struggle? We, we just don't know. That's obviously the, the difficult bit about the first game of the season. But of course, we all know very well that Norwich went and done Blackburn a few years ago, and that didn't really manifest itself in a promotion challenge. So. Um, we can never tell even one game in. But uh, clearly it's, 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 a, it's an interesting place for Norwich to build on, lots of things to work on. And of course, I've got to mention the guy who scored the two goals, Onel Hernandez. We've just spoken to him. Uh, it's the first time I've spoken to him. His English was, was very good, given he's a, he's a, a Cuban-German, I suppose, whatever he'd call himself. Uh, he's feeling happy and settled here. Uh, and clearly Daniel Farker has been banging on a drum about him um, producing assists and goals. Well, those two finishes today were fine finishes. Probably the first one, the keeper should have saved it, ironically, because he made two such outstanding saves from Jordan Rhodes. But to see uh, to see something as lively at the top with two chances that he took, no, that 94th minute chance, you could have just as easy, easily in the past seen it go beyond the far post or the keeper pull off a brilliant save. We didn't see that. Arnell took it unerringly, finished really well. And the guys and girls in this away stand, I'm sure were, uh, were busy jumping up and down and enjoying themselves. Uh, and, a, and a cracking point, albeit in a situation where maybe if Norwich would be more proactive, um, I'm not as dozy because there were a couple of dozy moments this afternoon, which maybe you get in the opening day of the season. Um, had they got themselves ahead, I have no doubt they'd have probably won the game. That is going to be a frustrating a frustration. But, you know, it's a 46-game season. There will be a lot more things that are a lot more frustrating than that uh, between now and May. So let's park it, move on, and we'll see what we get at West Brom, who, of course, lost today uh, at home to Bolton. Uh, and, of course, um, conceding a late goal to, uh, yeah, Yannick Viltschut. Darren Moore may be finding out that you can be all the bagger you want, but... Uh, can be hard sometimes being the main man uh, at a football club as uh, we've all uh, seen at Norris City before. Anyway, I'll wrap this up. I don't forget pinken.com for all the post-match reaction and analysis throughout the week. And of course, straight after now, uh, straight after uh, the game today. Uh, oh, for the weather to be like this for the rest of the season. But for now, uh, it's a 2-2 draw. It's a point on the board. Norwich are unbeaten, one game into the season. I always remember the fact that Reading won the title a few years ago. The only game they lost all season was the opening game. So there we go. Results on the board. Who knows what we'll get from here? Pinken.com will be the place to find out how it all unfolds.